Hello everyone, it's Tail here, and I'm continuing onwards with the Checker Tales Across the Med campaign. And we're going to be doing some bombing today, it looks like. So hopefully we'll get a little bit of action this time. Let's read the briefing. 12th of December 1942. Things are not getting any better. We seem to have been forgotten up here at the front. Little supplies and spare parts are nowhere to be seen. Holes and battle damage in our P-40s are being patched up using old tin cans. And another thing. Nobody bothered to tell us how hellish cold it gets in Africa at night either. But despite going to bed wearing three layers and laying in a slit trench under our tents with rifles ready in case of a night attack, morale is good. And the CO of our 58th Fighter Squadron, Major Phil Cochran, has us on the attack most days. Today, we are going to see if we can find any enemy tanks to attack. Uh, being so close to the front line, any reports of enemy armour moving our way are very worrying. If they break through, they will be on us in no time. And the GIs tell us that if a Tiger tank attacks, the only thing that can stop it is a direct hit from a bomb. We are told P-38s from another unit will provide top cover. And the boss says to look out for RAF bombers operating near us. Okay. Uh, look for enemy tanks and convoys at grid reference F5. Uh, this is H5. Okay, uh, return to base of sector B5. Well, that's at least correct. Let's take a look at the plane and what we'll be carrying. We're going to have one 500 pound bomb. So we only get one shot at this. Um, we'll set the fuse delay at four seconds. Um, should be able to get away from the blast within four seconds. Um, yeah, so bombing should be interesting. Hitting a tank is quite difficult. Um, you have to get the bomb very, very close to to have a chance of destroying it. Um, convoys, a bit easier, but then we can also take the convoys out with uh, our guns, I suppose. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Fly. Okay, here we are. Let's start the engine as is necessary for flight to commence. Uh, let's see... What is wrong with my joystick? Uh, that looks a bit uh, wrong. It seems to be off-center. Yeah, my... Okay, hold on one moment, need to sort this out. Okay, sorry about that, just had to unplug my joystick and plug it back in again and restart the game and now all appears to be well my stick is in its correct position and uh, I need to wait for my colleagues in front of me to take off before I do oh god whoa 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 break 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 <laughs> god okay my throttle was down but for some reason in the game it was uh, full up that was kind of close, but uh, I managed to save the situation. Kind of. Um, sorry about that, my friend. We almost ended the mission for both of us. Um, yeah, so bombing. This should be interesting. Uh, I find it very hard to judge when to release the bombs. Um, even when I'm getting when I get very low, which I tend to do when I do bombing in these kind of aircraft, I think I usually misjudge it and always uh, release it too late. So I'm going to try and fix that. I think we're clear, so let's go. take it this aircraft does not have a fuel mixture control because um, I can't change the fuel Altitude mixture zero five, and zero nine zero. as you can hear I've also turned the uh, radio sounds back on so we'll see how long I can stand to listen to the constant chattering gear up we are away So I guess this uh, flight in front of me is a completely separate flight to mine. I'm in charge of red flight. And we will 
apparently have P-38s covering us from above. So hopefully we won't have to deal with uh, any fighters and we can just get on with the task in hand of bombing the shit out of a tank and then perhaps shooting a truck with my guns. Okay, well, I'm kind of blubbering. We have a fairly long journey ahead of us. So, I'm just going to cut here to save you all the trouble of having to watch me just fly in a straight line for about half an hour. Uh, so you can get an outside view of the... My flaps are still up. Good job I did the outside view, otherwise I would have never known that. Uh, yeah, there's my bomb, attached with some struts. There's the tailwind lass. And yeah, that's that. So, um, as I say, I'll cut here. And I'll be back when we spot something, or if we reach the target zone. Okay, so we are five minutes away from the target apparently, uh, although I'm only just crossing the lines. Now somebody in a, the previous video made a comment saying that the waypoints are wrong in the campaign and I'm starting to think maybe that may be the case because the briefing said attack targets in F5, the waypoints are all the way over here, or the bombing waypoints are all the way over here, but apparently we're only five minutes away from the target and my guys in front of me are in attack formation. So I'm a little confused. I do have the P-38s in attendance, so that's good. I'm assuming these guys are bombing the same target that we are. I don't know. Well, let's... Uh, red flight, let's see... A, a tactical, change formation, line astern. May as well follow the lead of the guys in front of me. So they'll all line up behind me now. Oh, maybe I'll... Well, I don't know. Five minutes to target. Maybe we... Uh, we are bombing the correct waypoint. I guess five minutes is a long time. And we're almost at the end of uh, the F5 sector. So... Yeah, this could be okay. Okay, well, there's a few more minutes to go, so I'll skip ahead here. Come back in when it's bomb time. Attention! One minute to target. Okay, so we're already one minute to target. I am going to tell my guys to loosen the formation. bit too far away to see the target yet. Kind of falling a bit behind from my colleagues here but uh, should start to catch up. I think manifold pressure should ideally be in this green zone. Well, I guess as long as you don't go over the red line it should Vehicle. technically be fine. The temperatures are looking okay. Cooling temperatures are fine. That temperature is uh, a little bit high, but I've uh, got no warnings, so assuming we're A-OK. -okay. Now here's a road down here, which I guess is where the trucks and tanks will be. In fact, I think I can see them. So yes, we are going to the right place. Good. This plane tends to roll to the right for some reason. I can't trim it out, because I don't think it's a roll trim. This is one. Bombs away. Here we go, okay. 
it's go time. I'm going to go for... Actually, what I should probably do is tell the flight to attack ground targets. Ground target six, attack vehicles. I'm going to go for these guys here. Okay, here we go. And release now. Oh, that might have been too late. Oh no! Direct hit! Nice! Cool. That was good. Definitely got some cars. And now it's time to bring our guns to bear. Uh, let's see, I need to... What I'll do is I'll come around so I'll attack down the road. Pretty sure these machine guns will chew up cars and trucks. Obviously not going to affect the tank very much. Well, that's fine. Then we'll go with a flak. No fighters, which is good. P-38s not having to do very much right now. There's a ship out there as well. It's obscured by this bar. But it's there. I saw it. Okay, let's uh, try to get lined up here. This looks pretty good. Getting a bit more altitude so we can come down on the, the targets. Okay. Those are tanks right there in front of me, so I'll ignore those. Run away, little men. Oh, okay. Looks like I'm going to have to fire a, quite a lot of bullets into these things. That's fine. Uh, we've got some flak over here, or some kind of anti-aircraft vehicle. This is a tank. Oh, got it. Okay. Oh, so I can destroy tanks with these uh, these guns. Maybe it's not a full one. Probably more like a half track rather than a full proper battle tank. Attention. Let's do it one more time. Over. Oh, something down there is shooting at me. I do not like it. Fuck off! Okay, here we go. Another run. Go for these guys here. Shit. There we go. One car destroyed. What are you doing over there on the ground? Whoa! Hello. Be careful, please. One of my friends has crashed over there. Silly. Silly fool. Oh, I guess I should call him a goddamn son of a bitch. That was a bad accent. I'm sorry. I need to work on my American accent, I think, before I really bring it out. I don't want to completely embarrass myself. Although I tend to do that fairly often. Okay, here we go. So another run. I'm pretty sure these things in front of Tigers so I can have a go at shooting them, but I don't think I'll make any effect on them. Or maybe the car behind it, though. There we go. Uh, let's see what else can we attack. Yep, another one. Those are tanks as well behind that, so not going to bother with them. Watch out for the trees. Two cars gone, and those guys leaping acrobatically to the ground. Yeah. Got a bit scared I was going to hit them then. Uh, what else? 
else. I think that's it. We've gone down the whole road. Now we just need to turn around again. This is a pretty successful mission so far. We are chewing them up. Are we? Okay. If you say so. I've got plenty of bullets left, I think. So lots of cars to destroy. I suppose I don't really want to get left behind by myself. I can hear a plane somewhere. I guess it's that one. I'm going to make one last run. Let me try and take out this flat guy. Whoa, 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 okay. I think there might still be some guys left over here. I'm not sure if these are dead or not. They look pretty dead, yeah. They're destroyed. I see something making smoke over here, but that's probably those tanks. Yeah, I'm not going to have any effect on those guys, unfortunately. Tigers, I guess. What are we doing, guys? Are we heading home? I think we've destroyed most of them. Looks like my friends are trying to join up, although there's only number three. I don't know where the rest of them have gone. Let's uh, maybe try and get them on the radio. Uh, tactical rejoin. Three. Copy. Oh god. Rejoin. Only three? Only number three left? Where's, where are the other two? I didn't notice any screams over the radio. And then one of them did um, crash land. Hmm. Well that's pretty bad. Didn't want to lose any men. All three of the P-40s from the original flight seem to be intact, but uh, my guys, two of them, are um, MIA. God damn it! Why do I have to be surrounded by incompetent fools? All right, well, uh, that's that for now. I guess I'll skip ahead again and wait till we. Uh, get to the important business of landing the aircraft. Heading to... Attention, whoa, whoa! Christ, I was just um, minding my own business there at uh, times four speeds and then all of a sudden this bomber appears. It's a JU-88. Where did you come from, my little friend? Well, you're in a little bit of trouble now, aren't you? This is one. <laughs> okay, fair enough. That was uh, quick. They're all bailing out. Let's take a look at this guy. No, it's not uh, very pretty skin, I'm afraid. Quite low res. Make sure I'm not crashing. No, okay. Boom. Well, that was the end of that. Um, brief bit of excitement, kind of unexpected excitement there. Um, and uh, I guess it's time to head back to base again. All right, so approaching the runway now. My fuel light, oh, my fuel warning light has come on. But I guess I still have a few minutes left. I had 40% um, a 40% full tank when I left the base, which I guess the mission gave me, which is just about enough, it looks like. And it's time to attempt to land. I can see the runway up ahead, which is always good. 
very important to be able to know where you're going to be landing. I guess I'd better request clearance before someone else beats me to it. Request for landing number four. Here we go. Thank you. Okay. So let's bring the flaps down. Just to take off at first and then I'll switch to full landing when they get a bit closer. Not really sure what the optimum radiator and prop pitch settings are for landing. I guess it doesn't make too much difference as long as you slow down enough. Okay. Gear down. Try and get level and just kind of float to the surface is uh, I guess the idea. I hope I don't run out of uh, runway. Uh, there we go, little bounce. But we're down, good. Apply brakes. Pull back on the stick. And we just made it. Excellent. My landing has come on, I think. I've mentioned that before, but I'll mention it again. I can land! Let's taxi over to the barracks and such. So there's basically just a uh, white piece of cloth nailed to the ground, it looks like. Obviously difficult to see where you're going, which is why you need to constantly weave left and right to make sure there's nothing in your path. We're looking pretty good here. Yeah, let's stop here. May as well. Engine off. And there we go. Successful mission. And that's my radiator there just closing there below, um, just in front and below the wings. Uh, let's take a look at my friends here. We do have net results. It's got a semi-naked lady there with a net. That's uh, very funny. Um, what's that say? Dover girl? Clover girl? Lover girl? I don't even know. This guy has no sense of humour whatsoever. Either is this one. Oh, there's a... Uh, oh, this is one of the RAF bombers. Okay. What is it? A... Blenheim? I don't think it's a Blenheim. Maybe it could be a Blenheim. I don't know. <laughs> and of course the RAF are too prim and proper to have nose art. At least these ones are. This guy has Glamour Girl. Nothing for this guy. And then there's me. Okay, are there any Germans? No. We're just looking at bushes. Okay, well, that was that. Let's see how many I managed to bag. 13! I got 13 kills. One, two, well, two tanks and 11 cars, it looks like. Pretty good haul. Okay, um, that's that for that mission. So, oh god, you know what I forgot? The pilot name. I completely forgot about the pilot name. I was going to uh, announce it. Well, I guess I'll have to try and remember to do it for the next mission. I probably won't remember, but... Um, yeah, sorry about that. I'll try and remember for next time. Um, thanks everybody for watching. Thank you for subscribing and liking and all that stuff. And I'll see you next time.